Hello everybody, this is Cap here, and I'd like to welcome you to another C++ Containers Tutorial. So, again in this video, we're actually going to be covering a container adapter. And this time instead of the stack, we're going to be covering the queue. So if you guys remember from the last video when we went over the stack, I said that the stack was a LIFO system, last in, first out. Well, a queue is a FIFO system first in, first out. So with a queue, the first thing that we push onto the queue will be the first thing that gets popped off of the queue. So if we push on 10, 5, and 12, they will be popped off in that order, 10, 5, and 12. So to create a queue is pretty much the same as with a stack or a vector. We just say oops, queue, tell it the data type we want it to store, and then give it a name. Now like the stack, the default underlying container for a queue is a deck, which would make sense because the deck is a double-ended queue. But, if you wanted to, you could also use a list. But, for this demonstration, we're just going to stick with the default. So, the methods for adding and removing things from a queue are pretty much the same as they were with the stack. So if we want to add something to the queue, we use queue.push. Say we want to add 10. And then 5. And then 12. So if we want to remove something from the queue, we use q.pop and since the first thing that we pushed onto the queue was 10 the first thing to be popped off would be 10 so if we want to see what's at the front of the queue oops, we can use the front method If we want to see what's at the back of the queue, we could use the back method. So, 5 should be at the front of the queue, and 12 should be at the back. And they are. So the two remaining methods are of course the same as they were with the stack. We have size, which tells us how many elements are currently in the queue, which is two. And we have empty, which checks whether or not our queue is empty. So, again, like the stack, it's pretty easy to understand after you've learned about containers. It basically just restricts what the container can do to make it act like a queue. Or, you know, in stack's case, to make it act like a stack. And that is all I wanted to cover in this video. So if you guys like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you've seen a few of my videos and really like them, you can go ahead and subscribe so you can see when I post new ones. And I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.